Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmond Mindaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve if you're having issues connecting to the internet via your internet and without further ado and let's go ahead so all you have to do is to open up on a search menu and dito sa search for app so type mo lang dito yung device manager and then i-click mo lang dito yung open and dito sa device manager ang next step we will do the reinstall and updating the network adapter driver okay so kailangan mo lang i-select dito yung network adapters and then i-click mo lang yung arrow na yan para mag-expand and then next ay kailangan mo lang i-select dito yung ating network drivers and then right click and next step so i-click mo lang dito yung uninstall device right so once na uninstall mo na siya and next step ay i-click mo lang dito yung update a driver and then may dalawang option dito na pwede natin gawin like search automatically for drivers and browse my computer and then kailangan mo lang i-tap tong search automatically and wait natin so makikita mo dito na the best drivers for your device are already installed okay so in next solution na pwede natin gawin so dito lang ulit sa search menu and dito sa search for app so type mo lang dito yung settings and then i-click mo lang dito yung open so dito lang sa left side menu and then select mo lang dito yung network and internet so i-click mo lang yan and dito lang sa right side ay kailangan mo lang mag scroll down and select mo lang dito yung advanced network settings so i-click mo lang yan and dito sa advanced network settings ang next step ay kailangan mo lang i-select dito yung network reset right so reset all network adapters to factory settings so i-click mo lang yan and dito sa network reset settings so makikita mo dito yung this well removed then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as VPN client software or virtual switches so makikita mo dito yung network reset and then dito lang sa right side ay kailangan mo nang i-click dito yung reset now and then network reset and i-click mo lang dito yung yes alright so after dito sa network reset and other solutions we will do so same again all you have to do is to open up on a search menu and dito sa search for app so type mo lang dito yung cmd or ito yung tinatawag na command prompt and then kailangan mo lang mag right click and select mo lang dito yung run as administrator if you receive your SAR account control, and then i-click mo lang dito yung yes. And dito sa administrator command prompt, ay kailangan lang natin i-enter yung command keyword na IP config space slash flash DNS. So, i-type mo yung command keyword na IP config small letter lahat, and then space slash flash DNS, one word yan, and press mo lang yung enter. And then, successfully flash the DNS resolver cache and next command keyword na kailangan natin i-enter ay type mo lang yung command keyword na NATSS space WENSAC space reset alright so type NATSH space WENSAC space reset and press mo lang yung enter and then successfully reset the WENSAC catalog you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset so ang next step so close mo lang tong cmd and uh, dito lang sa start menu at kailangan mo lang mag restart alright so click restart okay so ganun lang po ka simply on how to fix windows 11 ethernet driver problems and please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel for more quality content Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.